What is up, everybody? We are back, and today we are talking about the new Netflix film, Rebel Moon, from Zack Snyder, which, let's get into it. Listen, I was excited for this film because it was pegged to be like the next Star Wars and Zack Snyder always wanted to make a Star Wars film and this was supposed to be it. The cast was amazing. I mean, you got Charlie Hunnam, Sophia Batella, Ed Screen, Jenna Malone, Ray Fisher, Tishman Hausa, Rupert Friend, Michael Hussman, Corey Stoll, and so much others and a few surprises. So like, the cast is incredible. And don't get me wrong, the visuals are cool, but this story is all over the fucking place in like the worst ways possible. You spend maybe like five minutes with each new character and you learn literally nothing about them other than the fact that we get a cool fight sequence and then it's on to the next thing. This is very much the rough draft of like what could have been an awesome movie. I mean, this is the guy who gave us 300 and all these epic fight sequences, but there's like no blood. You don't, the action's like lackluster. And honestly, like if we're getting two more of these films, I really hope we don't have to have a Snyder cut for each of those to enjoy a fucking movie. At the end of the day, I'm giving this one and a half stars. I just, this was like the bones of what could have been. And hopefully with this three hour rated R cut that's supposed to come out, you know, that's supposed to be his vision. We get some better story building, better character development, and just a better cohesive movie because this was not it. So my recommendation, wait for that film to come out in a few months and skip this one.